Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm Oli Pepe, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. So, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be filming a transformation video. That is, you guys will be watching me transform from this to this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yes, if you want to see me transform from this to this, please kindly stay tuned and watch till the end. And also give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you've not. Also drop a comment down below. I enjoy reading comments from you all. I really, really do appreciate your efforts scrolling down and typing whatever you all have to say to me in the comment section. I really appreciate it. So guys, with all that said, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next clip. Still looking like this though. Yeah. <laughs> the wig I'm going to be wearing today is this bob wig. Yeah, it basically looks like this. And this also belongs to my sister, by the way. This is not mine. <laughs> this belongs to my sister. So yes, I'm just going to be installing this on my head. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so to lay my front, I'm going to be using these two products. This is got to be glue water resistant glue and this is the got to be blasting freeze spray yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yes i'll be using this one first while i spray this just to, for extra hold So guys, I already drew my brows and right now I'm just going to go straight into the full face. So the first thing I'm going to be doing obviously is to prime my face and for primer today I'm going to be using this my Blossom Mattifying Primer. So the palette I'll be using today is my palette from Bilanzi Cosmetics. The first shade I'm going to be going into is this um, like a terracotta kind of shade right here and it's a name drama so i'm going to be going into this matte shade right here and i'm just going to be blending that into my crease okay so guys i'm done blending this eye to satisfaction so i'm just going to go ahead and do the same for this other so the next thing i'm going to be doing is applying this shimmer shade and this is Lint Bubble. I'm going to be applying this shimmer shade with my finger on my eyelid. Like I usually pause at this point, then I proceed to skin work, then I come back to eye look just to finish up. So I already primed my face earlier in the video, but I've decided to actually apply a bit of milk of magnesia. If you've not watched my last video, please kindly watch my last video for you to understand. I have really, really oily skin, and this is like the only thing that holds oil from breaking through my makeup for me. And I've already reviewed that. And yes, I'll just be applying a bit on my nose. Okay, so I saw a comment on my last video. Someone asked me to try out the rather than using this. Milk of Magnesia. Someone asked me to try out the Zaron's oil blocking mascara or oil. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure what the name is, but it has to do with oil blocking. I'm not so sure, but well, I actually went to Zaron's website and luckily for me, they were doing a 40% discount because of the lockdown, and I was able to get 
most of their products at really really cheap prices and rates which was very very exciting for me i can't wait for me to receive my packages even though they said it's going to be after lockdown but still i really cannot wait to receive my packages and actually do a review for you guys i hope it actually works because if you don't know the amount of oil that comes out of my nose when i apply makeup is so so annoying like i almost cannot deal so i need a very good primer for me to actually hold my makeup for a very long period of time you guys understand so when i get my package from zaron i'm going to be reviewing that on my youtube channel and i'm just kind of telling you guys to actually expect the video <laughs> in a way and yes i think this is already dry enough so i'm just going to proceed to apply my foundation okay guys foundation i'm going to be using is my foundation from nodes and this is in the shade smoke i'm not so sure i'm not sure which one is the because there's like a lot and yes i hope you guys can see that this should be in the shade smoke or b04 or like there's a lot going on for that next this bottle but if i confirm it i'm going to write it down below in the comment section so, i'm going to drop it i'm going to write it down below in the description box and yes this is the foundation i'm going to be using today and that this foundation it is that this foundation is extremely mattifying like i actually thought it was a joke but like i can tell from the application that it is so matte like it is so quick to dry up and it is so so matte wow i'm impressed this is actually the first time i'm using this foundation so this is kind of like a first impression So, uh, I don't know if you guys can notice, but this concealer is a bit too light for me to highlight with. But yes, I did that intentionally. And this method, I only do it whenever I'm like too lazy or I'm just trying to do a quick makeup routine. But if I'm doing this method, I always have to ensure that I just apply it in the inner part of my face. I try my best when I'm blending not to spread it out of the you know the places where i want it so i just don't turn out looking extremely light but this process i actually like to recommend but one has one just has to be very careful so guys obviously this concealer is like extremely too light for me to conceal with but if i'm going to be using this method of highlighting my face i would usually just apply a very very little bit and try my best not to spread out of my face you know that i just try to maintain the concealer in the inner part of my eyes just so it does not spread and i get way too light for my liking do you understand so right now i'm just going to go ahead and blend that out i can make any concealer shape work as long as i just apply it you know in the ratio of how light it is to how much i want it to how much job i want it to do do you understand what i'm saying if you have any concern that is better than this, bring it. I'll make it work. <laughs> so to set my face, I'm going to be using this my translucent powder from RCMA. And I'll just be applying that in the places where I applied my concealer. So guys, it is at this point that I usually go back into my eye loop just to finish it. So right now, I'm just going to be lining my waterline, fix my lashes, and yes. Then 
my waterline, I'm going to be using this eyeliner from Kiss Beauty. So now, the next step is to use mascara. This is using mascara. Guys, I used to hate using mascara so much, like so so much. I dislike using mascara. Where that come from? Cause you will do a perfectly well blended eyeshadow, and mascara will just come and ruin your day. You guys understand? But I've actually learned, like I've actually tried my best to actually learn to carefully apply mascara and not ruin my eyeshadow. apologize if i'm not as loud as you people expected and if i'm not as you know if i'm not carrying you guys along as much as you people expected in this video i'm just i'm quite exhausted i'm just quite very very tired i don't know if you guys can see from even my voice and in my last video a couple of you guys actually complained that you guys could actually hear me and i'm actually i've been trying my best to actually get a microphone so the audio of, of my videos will be much much better but i don't know i've not been able to get that but i promise you guys as soon as i get the microphone i'm going to let you guys know but i can't speak louder than this um I'm, I'm just i'm tired i'm tired i'm sorry and guys i won't be using eyeliner because i've already cancelled eyeliner out of my makeup routine like any kind of makeup i want to pull off no eyeliner for me because mascara and eyeliner, I had a very, very big problem with them. Like, very, 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 very big problem. Now, I've found a way to actually apply mascara, which is because that is almost actually inevitable when it comes to makeup. I mean, you can make it work too. You don't have to use mascara and you apply false lashes. But I just noticed that anytime I apply false lashes and I don't use mascara, my natural lashes tend to show underneath, especially when I do a lot of blending on my eyelid color stains my natural lashes and then it just you know yeah it's just something i noticed by myself i was just like ew this is just it's so messy <laughs> so i had to just find a way to actually get to start using mascara but eyeliner i've cancelled it out like out of my makeup out of my life out of every fucking i'm sorry <laughs> Every single eyeliner product that I have, I'm not going to give it out or throw it away. Period. Period. In my last video, I explained to you guys the process of baking and how you know that it's already time for you to wipe off the excess setting powder on your face and when you're done baking. If you've not seen my last video, you are sleeping on a long thing. You are doing yourself, you're not doing it. I just like to put it out there. Just going to be contouring my face using my face definer from any side. You know the vibes already. So you guys, I realized in my past, in my last few videos that I'm not been doing reverse contour. Trust me, Mumbai <laughs> is not intentional. <laughs> Does that actually happen to you guys so that you forget a particular makeup step? That I skip a routine and then it's probably at the end of the um glam that I just like oh and I didn't do this. Wow. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the fact that most times in my videos you guys just get to see that my nose is already contoured and you guys are wondering like why does she not show us that success? That's because I'm also still trying to figure out how to do a perfect nose contour for myself. So I can't really come out here explaining or teaching you guys something that I'm not yet, you know, good or perfect with. And excuse the fact that somebody's talking in that side. That boy is a foolish boy. I won't keep quiet. 
do mind him. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. I'll do my own for you. It's okay. It's okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. So, as I was saying, I'm not going to actually come here to come and explain the process that I'm not so familiar or I'm not so good in yet. I'm actually just still trying to find out how to perfectly contour my nose. But anyways, I usually contour my nose with the same products that I use to contour my face. And I just take a defined brush, not a fluffy brush, something that you can actually draw precisely with. That's what I just use. And then I kind of draw like a straight line coming from the upper part of my so coming from the ends of my brows down to the side see guys it's a full out there's a lockdown so everybody is just around to get everybody to cooperate for me to actually film is such a task i'm not even going to be like how many people would like them to shut up no so you guys will actually just have to accept my content that way mm -hmm. so, yeah, so guys i actually know my nose is not shaped the way that i like to contour it but just kind of actually draw a straight line <laughs> so you, you kind of draw two straight lines and try and make sure that the line in the middle is actually straight i know it's looking kind of ash right now but always trust the process in makeup the key um rule or the number one rule or whatever is to trust the process do you guys understand like it's gonna come out fine it's looking very ash right now but trust the process oops <laughs> guys if you go and shave mistake and you make your nose contour bend that's why it's gonna bend trust me so you have to try your best to actually just keep it straight not too straight as if you are using ruler but you know just naturally straight but if you make it come like this that's how you're gonna see your nose that's kind of the illusion your nose is going to create your nose is going to go to kind of like this so try your best to keep it straight i'm warning you then i'll go ahead and use a fluffy brush this is my brush from i honestly don't know but you know the brush that is this sorry a brush that is this fluffy that's what i use and then i take this and this i just kind of mix it together and then i use it to blend it out yeah actually takes quite a lot of effort but you guys are going to see by the time I'm done try and make sure this place is well blended into the brows don't use it to go and scatter your brows or just underneath your brows not into your brows you guys understand kind of like make it fit into your brows if you use it to scatter your brows it's not new So guys, this is how far I've come with the blending and at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and set it. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder today. I'm just going to try my best and set it. So yes, that's just about it. At this point, I just leave it until it's done baking, and then I'll get back to that. Uh, right now, I'm just going to do a bit of reverse control. Sorry, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fix my lashes off camera because I'm like 100% so certain that this video is already like getting a bit too long. If you want to see, a video on how to fix lashes comment down below and let me know if you guys like to see a video on how to fix lashes i think i'm going to actually have to do a, a different video on that an entirely different video on that for you guys if you want to see how to fix lashes but so yeah but right now i'm going to go ahead and fix my lashes off camera and i'll be right back <laughs> 
so guys i'm back and my lashes are on but i'm about to address something so guys in my last video sorry in my last video i saw a comment someone asked me what was the lippy that i used and i'm about to show you guys this lip gloss i have three of it this is actually the clear lip gloss but it's already coming <laughs> i don't know maybe pink or something that's color in it right now but it was clear when i got it that's because i apply it on colored lip gloss on colored lipstick and then i put it back inside then it's just stained right now and so this product this product is from me now me now i'm going to write somewhere on the screen and this i have three of their products this was the first one i had and this is like pink pink then i decided to get another one and this one came out a bit purple i like it also but i prefer this one so in my last video this was what i used i just kind of lined my lip with i lined my lip with my mac lip liner i applied this in the middle and i applied clear lip gloss and that was the result see me addressing every single comment that i receive on my youtube videos Guys, I'm actually always so excited to read comments, to read comments from you guys. You know the vibes already. <laughs> I'm going to be using this my palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this exact shade right here. Okay, so I actually totally forgot to address the fact that I hope you guys can see that the nose contour isn't as ash as it was in the beginning. So like that is all about nose contour that I know right now. <laughs> so that's how I actually achieve my nose contour. For those of you who have been wondering, because I let it just do abracadabra, <laughs> I turn off the camera and I come back with a well pinched nose. I'm just sure some of you have been wondering like what is going on? Why is she not spilling the tea? But this is the tea <laughs> this is what i do to achieve what i do with my nose so yes the next step is i'm going to blow out my waterline and it is a particular brush i always use okay. i've seen it I like the way this turned out and I'm just going to go ahead and complete my hair but before I do that I'm going to set my face and set my face I'm going to be using this product right here this is the setting spray from this is my setting spray from Kiss Beauty and this setting spray first time I actually used this the first bottle that I got I gave it out because I hated it so much because because i have oily skin i tend to always buy products that are mattifying i tend to um try my best to you know get products that everything just has to be mattifying 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 and oil proof oil proof you know just because the oil that my face tends to secrete i hate it so much so these products anytime i the first time i got the first bottle that i got anytime i use it apparently it was called dewy finish like it even had a name in makeup world this i can say primer this setting spray is actually a dewy finish it gives a dewy finish while my others are on setting spray it's actually quite mattifying do you guys understand so me thinking this was a mattifying setting spray and i'm using it and i'm getting it i'm getting a dewy finish i'm just like what is this bullshit so i gave it out but then, when I got to understand the whole process behind the fact that it is actually a dewy finish, do you guys understand? Actually, I have to go and get another bottle. 
So that's the testimony of this one today. <laughs> I actually really, really, really do love this product. And this is just, I think I got this retail for like one to two. I'm not so sure. Maybe one to two. It's not up to 2K. One to or 2K or two five. I'm not so sure. But this is actually so cheap for the results that you actually get with it. Get from it. I'm so in love with this product. And it smells so nice. It smells so nice. It smells so nice. finish my hair you guys i'm not so good with hair so i just used to do my gum but it's okay it's fine it's fine look at this look at this it's so exhausted i don't know if i should style this on camera or i should style it and come back Rice bag, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but like, I think I have to send it off camera. Like, that black your magic, 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 black your magic, that black your magic, that black your look at that black your hit me with all of that melanin, hocus pocus, baby. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin.